Hi guys, we're sitting here on a hot day in Vegas in my own personal 2009 JKU Rubicon. This Rubicon was built about 10 years ago, had a 6.2 L9H put in it, and I've got about 80,000 miles on the SWAT. This Jeep is also used for R&D. It's basically one of our test mules. And what I want to talk to you about today is ESP, Electronic Stability Program. So when you fire your Jeep up, if you haven't done anything, essentially the ESP is fully engaged. What that means is you have both active braking functions and traction control. Active braking functions are things like anti-lock brakes, brake assisted steering, brake locking differentials, electronic roll mitigation, trailer sway control, and there's more. Then you have traction control. Traction control is the ABS module commanding the engine power to be reduced. Most of you know when ESP is fully engaged and you start skidding, you lose the pedal. You go into reduced power and basically it goes to an idle. I call that discrete traction control because you really don't have any throttle at that point. Now more sophisticated systems only reduce power enough to stop the wheel spin and it gives you some amount of power. We are looking at the possibility of adjustable traction control where you can actually dial in the amount of power reduction that you want. Off-road racers and circle track guys know that traction control can actually make you go faster because it only reduces power enough to stop the wheel spin and that means you get more traction. When you start your vehicle up you'll see that the traction control light is not on. That's the car of the squiggly line. What that's telling you is that you are in full ESP engagement. When I hit the button and that little car with the squiggly line comes on that's telling you the traction control portion of ESP has been turned off. That doesn't mean that your anti-lock brakes and all the other active braking functions aren't functional. They are. What you have done is turned off the ABS module's ability to reduce power. I personally like to run in this mode because I think that the engine runs a little freer and better without the ABS module being invasive. So I can turn on and off selectable traction control. So here we are with traction control fully engaged. Now you'll notice that it reduced power and the light flashed. So traction control is fully engaged. Let's give it some throttle. I'm floored right now. And as you saw, it just brought the power right back. Now let's do the same thing with traction control disengaged. So we're going to come over here and we're going to hit our ESP light. And by the way, guys, this is working right through the CAN bus. So what this is telling us is that ESP has been selected into a partial off mode. Active braking is working because we're in two wheel drive. There are some modes like four wheel drive low that turns everything off or you guys have heard of the steering wheel dance and there's other bypass options like the switch. But this basically means that all the active braking is still functional but we have just turned off the portion of ESP that reduces engine power. So now with this off, when I give it throttle, the wheels should spin. And as you can see, that was just a little bit of throttle. So there you go, guys. We're probably going to make some enhancements to this so that you have some adjustability, how much power you want it to reduce. I personally feel that you should never have a dead pedal because if you're stuck in the middle of an intersection or on a highway in an icy road, you want a little bit of power so that you can get out of trouble. So we're probably going to make it adjustable to some degree.